If it was an indignity for Arsenal to enter the Carabao Cup at this early stage because of their absence from European competition, they booked their passage to the next round by showing true class. Against a championship club's reserves, admittedly, but this was a demonstration from which Mikel Arteta and his team can take heart. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scored a hat-trick on his first start of the season, and Nicolas Pepe, Boke Osaka, and Alexander Lacazette also netted in a match in which the visitors threatened to score nearly every time they attacked. Now all they have to do is play like this regularly against stronger opponents. Then trust will grow in Arsenal's players and Arteta's process. Aubameyang's performance was one of many positives for Arteta. The club captain had scored only once for Arsenal since being dropped for the North London Derby in March and his preparation for this season was disrupted by illness, but here he was sharp and dynamic. The goals will be great for his confidence, said Arteta, who praised the strikers' all-round influence. I said the leadership has to come from the senior players, along with the solutions, and the rest have to complement that with the energy and passion they bring, tonight was a good example. Other big plus points for Arsenal were Saka's brilliance and some delicious touches from Martin Odegaard on his first appearance since his permanent transfer from Real Madrid. Aaron Ramsdale was not particularly busy on his debut but did what he had to do well. Valerian Ismail's lineup ensured Arteta would have no excuses, as West Brom's manager fielded a shadow side, committing all the players who began their last championship match and giving debuts to nine youngsters. It's clear our priority is the championship, explained the Frenchman, unapologetic after West Brom's record defeat in this competition. Arsenal quickly found out that West Brom's second string were intent on implementing the ultra-offensive style preached by Ismail, with frenetic pressing and moves more direct than any seen here under Sam Allardyce last season. Quiven Castro, nifty but a trifle too eager, was booked in the second minute for catching Odegaard, and Ramsdale was rushed into a pair of uncomfortable early clearances. Soon the goalkeeper had to make his first save, plunging to his right to tip away a low curling effort by the nimble Tom Tullis. West Brom caught Arsenal out with a clever routine from the ensuing corner, but Adam Reach side-footed wide from 7 yards. Arsenal did not wilt. Their passing was more intricate than the host but they could only make that matter if they matched West Brom's energy, which they mostly did. Then they took over. Their first goal came from pressing by their classiest performer, Saka dispossessing Castro outside the West Brom box before shrugging off another challenge and unloading a shot that Alex Palmer could only parry. 